Today, we're looking at how to configure SAML with Microsoft Intro ID on Access Server. Intro ID is uh, the new name for Microsoft Azure Active Directory. So as you can see, I'm logged into the Access Server admin UI and uh, expand authentication and code to SAML. So first thing we need to do is just enable SAML authentication. So we toggle that switch. Now, if you have a host name, you can type it here. For the purpose of this video, we're going to leave it as the IP address. There are a couple of pieces of information that we will need later on, um, and uh, we need to make a note of these. So I'm going to go ahead, head out to uh, my Azure dashboard. And from here, as you can see, I got Manage Microsoft Intro ID as one of the options on my dashboard. And I'm going to click on uh, View to get to the Intro ID. On the Intro page, uh, go ahead, click on Enterprise Applications on the left side. Then once you're on an Enterprise Applications page, the next step is clicking on New Application. That's going to take you to uh, Microsoft Intro Gallery. In the search bar, we're going to go ahead and type SAML. And at the time of recording of this video, SAML 1.1 uh, token enabled is available here in the gallery. I select that. Here, if you would like to change the name, you can change the name. Uh, I'm going to leave it as, a, as is. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to click on Create. This is going to take a few seconds to create or add this application. OK, our uh, application is added here. The next uh, step is clicking uh, on single sign-on or set up single sign-on. And that's going to take us to this page. Now, uh, for the basic SAML configuration, there are a few things that we need to edit. So click on Edit. And this is where we're going to go back to our admin UI of our Access Server. If you remember, I said we need a couple of pieces of information to make a note of. Uh, here it is. For the SP identity, we're going to type it here as an identifier. And then ACS or SPHCS is going to be our uh, reply URL. So we're going to paste those links here. Now, for the uh, sign on uh, URL and the rest of the stuff is optional. If you have something, you can add it there. Click on Save to save your SAML configuration, basic SAML configuration. Now, if you scroll down, you're going to see the uh, Federation metadata URL. We need to copy that. And you can find that under the SAML certificates uh, section. And we're going to go back to our admin UI. And if you scroll down where it says Configure Identity Provider, we're going to paste that here and click on Get. So everything is done. We're going to save setting and update running server. And as you can see, all the information is automatically imported here. Now, if you go back to settings uh, for the default authentication system, I'm going to choose SAML and click on Save Settings, and then update running server as uh, needed. So now let's look at how a user can import their profile uh, into their Connect app on their machine. So I'm going to copy the address and open up another browser so we can log into the client portal. Uh, let me go ahead and click on. We don't have an SSL, so I'm going to bypass this. And as you can see, a user needs to click on Sign in via SAML. This is where they're going to enter their credentials from Microsoft Intro ID. Then click on Next. Um, it's going to get redirected to our organization sign on page. Um, the address is there. The password, I'm going to type it. And then uh, we get connected to the client portal, as you can see. So this is where we can download and install the Connect app based on the operating system that we have and download the user profile. I already have the Connect app installed, so I'm just going to download the profile. And as you can see, it's downloaded in my computer here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to import the profile here. Click OK. And the profile is here. It's imported. And here we go. If you want to connect, click on Connect. Uh, we need to enter our credentials here. So let me put my credentials from Microsoft Intro ID and then uh, close this tab and then click on uh, Next to enter my password. Um, here we go. Let me type the password here and sign in. And we should get a connected. Now we're connected. If I bring up the Connect app, you can see that we are connected. So this was the user experience. Uh, first time when they try to import their profile. From now on, anytime they want to connect, all they have to do is just bring up the Connect app 
and uh, toggle the switch to get connected. As you can see on the screen, it takes a few seconds. Now I have to go ahead and enter my credentials, my intro ID credentials, and get connected to the access server. So let me go ahead and type my uh, email address here and then click on next. And then uh, we're gonna type the password on the next screen here and then click on sign in and we should get connected. Here we go. So this was a quick video on how to configure SAML with Microsoft Intro ID on Access Server. Thank you.